Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks and another Lockdown News Roundup. Okay, now first up, I've been getting loads of emails about this story. Here's an example of this story doing around the last couple of days. COVID jab teams could go door to door to homes of unvaccinated, it says here. Now, I didn't want to bother covering this because it's such an obvious scaremonger, fear propaganda, psyop story. I don't want to give it any attention, but so many people still don't get this. This is yet another psychological tactic. Like I've said before, everything you see in the fake stream media, you can't take it literally. It's there for a reason. Very rarely is it there for news. It's there to push an agenda. They are trying to get this type of reaction out of you, a reaction of fear. They want you like Scooby-Doo and Shaggy, scared over the tiniest thing. They think you are stupid. They want you to get all jittery. And there are commentators as well who will add to this, who will play up to this, who will say, oh, this is the start of this or that. It's all nonsense, okay? They did this last year. You remember the persuaders knocking on your door? That was a year ago. Same thing, yeah? It's all PR, negative fear propaganda. PR, okay? Now, in these articles, they are claiming that 5 million are free of any jabs. I did a video a couple of weeks ago which had the government data stating that there was 15 million were jab-free and an additional 8 million of under 12s, which is 23 million. And then there was another one the other day someone sent me from another government paper what was it now, which stated, I believe, 13 million adults, all of these, all of these numbers. But even if we just, let's just go by the 5 million that they are stating in the papers, there's no way they can go round to all of these people's houses, let alone 23 million. They don't have 1% of the manpower to walk all of these houses, to go to them individually and knock on their door. It's not like they are going to be, all of these people are going to be in the same area. They are scattered all over the country. It's impossible to be able to do that. It's no difference to the TV license, okay? It's all threats. I used to live in a house, and of course I was not paying a TV license. Somehow, the TV license people worked out that there was no TV license registered at that address. So they started sending letters. This happened every month. Then they started sending uh, red letters and the language used in these letters increased and became more threatening, even to the point where they started sending letters with images of courts and judges and juries uh, with an arrow, big arrow pointing to a person charged in the court and saying, this is you, this could be you, we will take you to court, you could be fined up to £4,000 or whatever it was, you will then have a criminal record. And this went on for two years, two years of these letters. Did I react? Did I get all flustered ooh, 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 and say, oh, maybe we should just pay it and get these people off our backs for an easier life? Did I? No. Did I feck? No, just ignored it. What happened? Nothing. Nothing happened whatsoever. Okay? I think once these clowns turned up on the door, guess what? I just didn't answer the door. That was it. You just don't engage with them on any level. Okay? It's all threats. Yeah? That is their strategy to get you to comply. Empty threats. Increasing the language as they go along. Now, in other news, we have this. Priti Patel orders review of crossbow laws after Windsor Castle incident. Home Secretary tells officials to look at possible ways to strengthen controls on weapons in wake of Christmas Day arrest. Now, this whole incident with the Queen and the crossbow and the intruder, it all comes across very suspect, doesn't it? Especially when you see the instant knee-jerk reaction that this entity, Patel, has put out in regards to restricting people buying these uh, crossbows. Now, the review started earlier this year about crossbows due to another incident, and now this happens on Christmas Day, and this incident will very usefully help to reinforce any laws proposed. We're living in a world of deception. We are living in a world where an organization like, say, 
Extinction Rebellion, who are also called Insulate Britain, who are funded by billionaires, who go out and stage protests in, and stage incidents like the M25 causing disruption, which then just so coincidentally gives the government an excuse to bring in legislation against protests, restricting the right to protest. This story has the same vibe to it. Strangely enough, also we can see the same thing happening in Germany. This was from a couple of weeks back. So just as we see the same passport agendas in lockstep with every country, the plans to introduce cashless societies in lockstep with each country and all the other policies, we now see all of these crossbow stories appearing. Here's another one from a month ago in Melbourne, Australia. So what does this tell us? Well, possibly they see things escalating. They foresee a time when the masses may rise and they want to introduce laws now restricting the purchasing of these uh, weapons. Is that what it is? Or is it all just another coincidence that suddenly we have crossbow stories appearing everywhere, followed by sudden reactions, talking about laws and restrict restrictions and more control, etc., etc.? It's always the same pattern, isn't it? I think if you're going to talk about these stories anymore, it's not about the stories themselves. It's about decoding the reasons that they are appearing. So anyhow, look, keep the faith, stay strong. Don't let these Decepticons scare you or antagonize you or provoke you. Stay true to yourself. Thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded souls who don't follow the herd.